gives me really great pleasure to warmly welcome you all here tonight to the Skyloft for our third annual Holroyd Howe People Awards. These awards have become the highlight of our year and our calendar, and they are the best of what our business represents. I'd like, before we start, to pay a very special welcome to the stars of tonight and congratulate you for being here. Could we just get the nominations for a second just to stand? Would you mind? Isn't that fantastic? As we celebrate tonight and as we go forward, you know, there are some 200 of us here tonight, but we are a business of 3,000 or more employees. So before we go any further, what I'd like to do is just propose a quick toast to all of our colleagues who are not in the room tonight. We couldn't afford the bar bill and we couldn't afford a venue. So we just do a quick toast to all of our colleagues. With your help and with uh, the help of all of the colleagues who are not here tonight, it's been another really great year for Holroyd Howe. With openings at Malvern, Gresham's, Peterborough, Westenburg, Radley, St Dunstan's and The Dragon, to mention just a few. And soon we'll welcome teams from Coventry, Withington, Queen Elizabeth Grammar, Colston and the Manor School. Again, just to mention just a few. And of course, there's more bidding still to be done. So it gives you a little flavor of both the hard work that's being done out there, but the success of the business um, as we continue. Moving on to the main event. We've had 700 nominations from 125 different schools. But through these awards, we're identifying and recognizing those individuals who truly demonstrate and live the values of our business every single day. So as we get going with all of that, I just wanted to pay a, a personal credit and congratulate everybody who has been nominated during that process. And to those of you lucky enough to be here in the room tonight, I wish you very good luck. And I'll talk to you again later on, but enjoy the evening. So it is now time to announce the winner of the award. And the winner is Cheryl. So happy to work for Holroyd Howe. You're so encouraging and you just appreciate your staff and it's wonderful. The winner of the Food, Health and Safety Excellence Award is... Nicola Allsop from Hayden's <laughs> Mathieson. Um, I'm over the moon that for the first year we are introducing the Health and Wellbeing Champion Award. Um, and the criteria for this award was open to individuals or to a whole team. So I just want to thank David and Amy and the West Heath team. <laughs> I'm absolutely delighted for the team. Um, I'm absolutely that we've got the record. They've got the recognition they deserve for all the hard work they've done with the um, nutrition and wellbeing project and behavioural study with the students. It's had fantastic results, and it's and it's justifiable award. Not just for me, it's for the team. It makes you realise that we are doing something to strive forward, and we are being recognised for it. I've been genuinely proud to judge the outstanding performance category. The winner is Chris McElroy. To be recognised for what you do, to be recognised for what my team do, what they help me to do and carry out, and the importance of what we can show other sites as well and how to drive them forward. I'm a little bit dumbstruck at the minute. This means a hell of a lot. It means that what I'm doing is good and it's right and it's noticed by other people as well. So the winner, and by the way everyone needs to be so proud of what you've done, 180 nominations, five teams here, the nomination, well the winner is Frenchham Heights. I'm so proud of our team. We are an amazing team. We do a brilliant job and I'm so proud of them. 
Yeah, me too. I definitely reiterate that. Fantastic team, and it's all about the team. And that's what we got in bucket loads. So I'm, I'm extremely honoured to do this um, award this evening. I'm pleased to announce that the winner is Mark Greenfield from Beads. Uh, ecstatic, I was shocked. Um, I really wasn't expecting to win. I'm really proud of myself. For, for me, culinary excellence is working with the best ingredients, working in the best team, and just giving 100% every day. Okay, so I'm absolutely privileged to be able to announce to you the nominees for the Operational Support Champion. I'm proud and delighted to announce that the winner of the Operational Support Champion is Vince. Vince Carr is a very, very well-deserved winner of the Operational Support Role of the Year. Not only does he do amazing tra training courses nationally for Hull Road Howe, but actually he goes above and beyond and makes sure that every individual receives exactly the same training in schools in Hull Road Howe. Um, and this award recognises those great and talented people in our business who have been working with us for less than three years and are identified as stars of the future. Um, and so the winner is Connor. Uh, working as a team in Holroyd Howe is uh, quite an important thing because it's quite a family orientated business and um, winning this award means a lot to me because the people I work with daily uh, have voted for me. So good evening, good evening. The last but one award of the evening. And tonight I'm really proud this year to be presenting the Unsung Hero Award. So the winner of the 2019 Unsung Hero Award is Andrew Smith at Trinity School. <laughs> you know, this is history because obviously to win something and also the first time I've come on this of People's Awards, it is fantastic, it's really great. You know? This award um, always gives me a lot of heartache and angst for weeks and weeks beforehand. But when I, when I think carefully about the, the criteria for the award, I suppose what, what I'm most looking to, to, to do is to recognise someone who epitomises the values of the business, who delivers it, who delivers those values day in, day out, but, but equally does it in the way that the business was, we always wanted to be done in the business. This person is a lovely lady, and congratulations goes to Sally. I'm really surprised and I'm very proud to have won this award. It's educating children on um, fabulous food um, that shapes the path that they take for the future in their choice of meals. Um, and it's about a fantastic company that um, creates a huge sense of fun among the team. Wasn't that incredible? Very good. Well, listen, where do I start? I start by saying my sincere Congratulations to everyone who was nominated for tonight's uh, shortlist for the awards. My, con my congratulations to the winners. I truly hope you enjoy your accolade. You should be very, very proud indeed. You've been recognized by your colleagues and by your peers, and you've been recognized for your hard work, your dedication, and your participation in your teams. You are special to them, and rightly so. And above all the awards tonight, which were fantastic, and above all the winners tonight, who were fantastic, that is epitomized, I think, by the award that Andrew just won, and Sally just won. The caring nature and appreciation for those last two awards 
uh, is, is actually deeply touching. I think it's incredibly touching, um, the care and appreciation that is there. So congratulations to everybody. Um, and I thank you very much for your, for your commitment. So enjoy your moment. Um, so that's it. One more round of applause for everybody. <laughs> so there you have it. The third Paul Roy Howe People Awards draw to a close. The spirit of this business is incredible. There, there are up days and there are down days, as there are in most things in this life. However, I can certainly say that there is never a day that I'm not immensely proud to be part of this business. Thank you very much.